Hi, welcome to Tag Div's tutorial section. In this video, we'll be giving you a quick guided tour of the newspaper theme panel. For more in-depth information, please refer to our theme documentation. Before we begin, please note that in this video we already have the newspaper theme and the plugins installed. When you first install newspaper, you will be redirected to this welcome screen, which consists of several tabs that allow you to register your product, access our support section, install demos, manage your plugins, and check your system status. Let's give you a brief overview of each area. As you can see it here under the Install Demos tab, Newspaper offers you a good start in building your site. You don't have to create everything from scratch. Just choose a template and start building an amazing website. Each demo is built using only the theme options, and you can install it with a single click. If you decide to change the demo or uninstall it, the import system will make sure that your website is clean, no additional sidebars, menus, or content. It will leave your website just like it was before you installed the demo. Under the Support tab, you can access the support forum, the theme documentation, and the playlist of narrated video tutorials. In the System Status tab, you can check how your system is performing. Under this tab, you can monitor your website by color code, Yellow status means that the site will work as expected on the front end, but it may cause problems in WP Admin. Green means the system passed the test and it performs as expected. The theme panel, which is located under the newspaper tab here, is the operative center of the theme. There are numerous options neatly organized into tabs for easy access. As an example, let's take a look at the logo. Here, you can upload your custom logo and also set unique logos for mobile devices. Let's upload our default logo, which will be used throughout the website. Save your settings to apply them. Please note that many of theme panel settings are global options, which means they will affect your entire website. To control pages or posts individually, you can use the page or post settings, which override the global settings. These settings can be found in the editing section of every page or post. Let's demonstrate. To create a new page, go to your WordPress admin sidebar, Pages, Add New. This is going to be my new home page. You must give it a title. Now, let's build it using the Visual Composer. Click on the backend editor button to start. The Visual Composer allows you to add elements, for example, a text block. But it also helps you design your new page suggesting 15 predefined homepage templates and two special pages, an About Me page and a Contact page. These predefined templates are the ones you can see on the theme demos. On the right side, you will find the page attributes. From here, you can set the page template. The templates define the structure of your page. For more information on what each template brings, check the theme documentation. For our demonstration, we'll use the second template. This template comes with an article list with pagination. The latest article is similar to the one displayed on the blog page, but in this case allows you to add your desired elements, blocks, on top of this section using Visual Composer. Let's just click one of these predefined templates. I will choose the home page, video template, but I'm not going to use video files, but usual text and image content. Click on the template to select it. Now all the rows, blocks, sidebar, and boxes are already imported on my new page. Now click Publish to save settings. Yes, it's that simple. If you want to remove elements or add new ones, the theme allows you to do it easily. Just press the plus icon here and add a new row. This is going to be added at the end of the page. Now click this icon to add a block inside the row. Here are all the elements and blocks you can combine on your page or on a post. I want to add a new slider to my home page. Click on it to add it to the page. The block settings panel automatically opens to configure this block. In this case, I will set the slider autoplay speed, the number of posts, a custom title and colors. Under the Filter tab, I choose to filter the displayed post by category and select Latest on the Sort Order drop-down box. When you're done setting up this block, click the Save Changes button. To move this block, you have to press and hold here, then drag and reorder the blocks. You can drop it when the desired area is gray like this one. 
Now click Publish or Update to save the settings. Done! Remember, the page or post settings override the global settings. For more in-depth information, please refer to our theme documentation. I hope you'll enjoy building new pages for your website as much as I am using themes for smart people. Thank you for watching.